Happy Halloween. Whoa. What's up, bro? Sons there, and Dick Psalms, and we are at the 10 scariest things found in Halloween candy by Trend Crave. Y'all already you know people find crazy stuff in their Halloween candy sometimes, like I don't know, nails, razor blades. So, what I mean by razor blades I, is like, you know, sometimes there's like actual, actual blades and candy. So, it's like, yeah, sometimes poison and all types of crazy, all types of crazy shit, and Halloween candy because somehow people who are making the candy somehow got it inside the candy. I don't know. Yeah. So let's see the top ten scariest things found in Halloween candy. Since so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, so upload it, and you know the it. Since so let's get to the video in three, two, one. We are back already in cheese. Hey everyone, it's is Shrinkrave here, and in today's video, we're we'll gonna be going through the top 10 scariest things people found in their Halloween candy. Razor blades and candy containers. She told you. Yeah, was, uh, I always, like always hear of razor blades and, ca and, and candy. That's the reason why I said that first, because I always she know there, she there's gonna be people who's gonna be found on razor blades in their candy. A nail inside of it. When I saw it, I just was ready to throw A nail and how do you get a nail and can't? On Halloween, his four-year-old daughter what the hell the what the hell the hall. family looked it over and short says they found a nail inside the peanut butter cup it was sticking up when her uncle checked okay the when candy, they, they was making the butter cup butter cup did did the nail you know accidentally damage. got into it or did someone three kids they went out trick-or-treating and did someone like just put it in there and just uh, hurt a kid a like, uh, 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 gonna say best candy never mind there. never mind and found inside of it a razor blade and it turns out it looks like it's from like a pencil sharpener or something like that so the question now is was this something that fell onto it during like the process of making it, or did somebody put it in there intentionally? Tiffany says her for a prank because they thought it was going to be a, a regular extra, last prank, but really it's scary. actually going to like yeah, kill candy, someone. Probably if, if a much, kid put, if a kid you know, that puts much. that in their mouth, that, that's actually going to kill them, she was in a or at least hurt them. Tiffany or something says like she found this small blade on the bottom of a Twix bar. She alerted the candy company and the sheriff's office. Deputies think the blade might be from a pencil sharpener. I'd be with a kid who was digging through his candy and decided to eat some Smarties, which I think a good question to ask right now is who actually decides to eat Smarties? Who, Regardless, who eats dude, Smarties? Eating some of them, and then all of a sudden he realized one of them looked a little bit different. It just seemed a bit off, and that's because somebody had replaced one of the Smarties what? with a migraine pill, which kind of... Oh, because... Alright, I was really thinking they're going to say a pill, because I don't know, I didn't see the full video yet. Anyway, um, because Smarties actually do look like pills, let's be real here. I don't eat Smarties, but I'm just saying, they do look like pills. You know, pills, but they're candy form. So, like, dumped him in his hand and said, I'm mom. You know, and there was a pill in there. The pill resembled the candy so closely that it almost went unnoticed. Police Chief G. Randy Gentry says, as I'm a just child, saying, who, who actually eats Smarties? That's, that's, that's children, actually a real question. Like, who, who actually eats Smarties? In the percent spot, this has got to be the stupidest guy of all time. He's 37 years old and was bored with his life, so I guess he wanted to spice it up by basically just putting razor blades in people's candy that he was handing out to trick-or-treaters. I don't know why he decided to do it, but... Wait, why? He, according to him, accidentally spilled the razor blades into the candy and just missed a few, you know, taking them out, and that was how... How do you actually... Of different how do you actually spill it in the candy? In their candy, but... He ended up getting arrested. Uh, how how do you actually spill in the candy? Police in Connecticut make an arrest that serves as a warning about Halloween candy danger. 37-year-old Jason Raz is accused Jason of Raz. razor blades in candy containers. I think he, he really he did that because he wanted to just the prank trick treaters. Police say Raz claimed the blades accidentally spilled into the candy bowl he used to hand out treats. He is charged with reckless endangerment. No children were injured by the razors. Real quick, before Thank God. Like this video and also subscribe to my channel, or else you're gonna find something in your candy tomorrow. Yeah, Number guys, like, like, like the reaction, subscribe, hit the bell. Yeah, I already know it. Own Halloween Please. candy and stuff like that, and this is one of those situations. Except the Halloween candy they made definitely went wrong. I don't know if it was on purpose or it was an accident, but what did he use to they, make they the candy? Some Halloween candy, some of their kids' candy, and. One of the candies smelled a little bit like gasoline, and I guess for some reason. Wait, hold on, what? Eat it, but 
when they put it in their mouths, their mouths actually started burning. So whatever was in it was definitely not good. When this little boy brought his candy bag to me. Hold on, what? And it still was, it Don't still tell was me the... Sort of like a piece of the, candy. The, the, and I just pushed it aside. Did they use tasseling like, to make candy? Like hard candy? What? what? Later, when his neighbor tried to eat the yellow candy, Armelli says his mouth started to burn, so he spit it out, and something else didn't seem right. When I smelled it, it, it definitely smells like petroleum products, uh, possibly kerosene. I think it almost smells medicinal. Number five, this one is wild. This kid, he was about ready to dig into his Reese's peanut butter cup when he found a giant razor blade inside of it. And his dad had told him... See, the most common thing a lot of, you know, look at a lot of parents will find uh, in candy is razor blades. <laughs> like, it's honestly so shocking, you know, alert. sometimes and they find, like, I don't know, nails very, and stuff. But, hard to miss it's, you know, it's mostly common to find candy. razor blade. Like That's the reason why if you're a parent and you're going trick or treating with your, your kids, you always make sure you check their candy before you make you allow them to eat it. That way it doesn't have anything in it. So it's like, you know. There was a razor blade sticking out of it. Like so, like, you if you're about to check the butter cup, I actually just, serious. you know, touch it, you know, make sure there's nothing in it, you know, it, it anything a, hard, that's what she like said, and, razor. yeah. It had both ends. Stinson says the candy came from the same Pleasant Run neighborhood as the other two pieces of candy found with razor blades. When I popped the candy bar open, uh, a piece of razor blade fell out of my lap. A.J. Ashurst was the first in Pleasant Run to report the problem when he says his daughter found a razor in her candy. Just found a razor blade in my kid's candy. And then of course, we've got some kids who were eating their Halloween candy with their mother, and they found metal a metal pen. pen, like a sharp metal pen, in their Snickers bar. So obviously the mother freaked out and then made them throw all of their candy away. I mean, imagine being the kid in this situation or any of these situations, because... I mean, if I was the parent and I was the parent of the kid, I'll actually just buy him candy from the store. And then before I allow him to eat it, I'll actually check it because probably the store did sign it again. Have you guys ever found anything in your Halloween candy? No, but I usually just check it. Um, I'm, I might just buy my own candy um, and then just binge watch YouTube or just talk to one of my friends during Halloween. I don't know. Unless I'm doing something with my sisters, because usually my parents maybe do something with baby sisters following. I don't know. daughter broke open a Snicker and found this. I teach them, do not eat no candy till they get home. Over to three, we've got a kid who found a needle inside of his candy. His mother went to Facebook to post about it, only to figure out that other kids were finding needles inside of their candy. And they all were coming from the same neighborhood. The police actually made them turn in all of the candy that uh, they had got. So, I mean, the kids were completely out of candy, but... Uh, it turns out one of the other kids from this neighborhood who went trick-or-treating there actually bit into a piece of candy that had a needle in it, and it stuck into the roof of his mouth. Oh my god! Nah, he bleating. He bleating. Nah. Nah. I want to know. Well, whose idea is it to get to put razor blades in candy pins and like the same neighborhood the sheriff wants to x-ray any candy collected there to see if the issue is widespread how do you remember we've got a two-year-old boy who went out trick-or-treating he was super excited it was like the second time he's ever trick-or-treated you know he wants to get himself some candy only to go up to somebody's door who gave him some twizzlers and inside of that Twizzlers, when he tried to eat it later that night, he found a sewing needle. Obviously, he couldn't eat his Twizzlers. Aww. Granted, Twizzlers suck. I mean, if licorice, you're Smarties, or your favorite candy, I'm I sorry, like you got a problem. But Twizzlers are right, but... Out, after police were going door to door, that another kid found a sewing needle in their candy, their Twizzlers, a too. This is one of two packages how? of Twizzlers candy. Each how does found embedded with a sewing needle get it just into over an Twizzlers? Inch long. Both. How does it get into Twizzlers? This is like his, the second time he's come down to Marshfield to trick or treat with us. Jim Keating is the boy's grandfather. He says they went to about three. All of the people who are giving away the candy didn't actually like put the things in, the into the candy. Like home, they open it, put the put the thing, morning, put the razor blade needle, whatever, like into the candy, and then you know, four and one where somebody and then you know actually repackage it or whatever and and give it away to kids. I hope it's actually the company and the company you know just accidentally put it in. Because I'm just saying, if if you like um, giving it away and you knew they were signing there, you're, you're definitely screwed. Like you're definitely fucked. Another family finding a sewing needle inside a Tootsie Roll 
and a small pin inside a Kit Kat. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later, though. Shabang. I might just buy. I'm. I'm just gonna buy my own candy. You know. You know. Right. So anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So, yeah. Um, I usually don't rap to trend crave, but I was like, you know what? Let me rap to this because. Because even though I already know what's the most common thing people are finding in their candy, like, you know, people find dangerous in candies, like, you know, mostly, like, razor blades. Like, like I never heard of people actually finding pen, um, pins in their, not pat, pens, um, pins in their, in their candy. I, I, it's mostly razor blades, but wow. So, yeah, guys, that's a lesson. Before you eat your candy, um, actually touch it, and what I mean by that is feel it. Um, if there's nothing suspicious about it, you know, you don't fit anything hard in it, no homo, then, you know, bite it, but don't bite it too hard, and, yeah, also smell it, because, you know, it, it'll probably smell like gasoline or something like that, I don't know, that's what I'm thinking. So anyways, that was the video, hope you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, put the bell on, I was gonna find and we'll upload a new video, comment when we, when we want me to wrap to next. Same as that's video. I'll see you wrestlers later. Bye. A peace.